What can you do on a scrolling 40 degree hot day? Go to the mountains, find some lake. It's okay to come out alone. We'll for sure meet someone at the beach. Bring your paddleboard and inflator both. Let's hop in. Celsius this weekend and I'm trying to find some puddles, some lakes to paddleboard. There is a Cayenne over behind me. Um, I'm driving pretty slow just to enjoy the scenery and I wonder if you, they want to pass me but they haven't shown any sign of me. Ah, uh, come on, pass me Cayenne. I feel pressured. Okay, I will pull up. You guys pass. Had fun, guys! It is really hot. We are just in tourist outfit. Probably not supposed to be driving in these. Okay, let's have a debate. What do you call those? Slippers? Flip-flop? Thon. What do you call those? Alright, we are in the third row now. So just around the time I was uh, airing down, there's quite a few carts coming by, so it might be a little busy trouble. See if I can find a spot. Wish me luck. When the temperature was cool, we complain about rain. When summer finally come in full swing, we complain about the heat. Human is truly a difficult species to satisfy. But right now, at this moment, I couldn't be more grateful that my AC is filled up. Since I can't really go far this summer, I've decided to include more variety in my outdoor activities. Wow, you can already see the lake, it's so nice. I wasn't born by the beach and didn't grow up with water in my blood. Uh, Okay, that sound weirder speaking out loud. What I meant to say is, water sport never interested me until Australia. Dipping into the cold lakes and ocean under the scorching sun, what a relief. And that's what I plan to do today. Just talked to a lady um, camping there in the white tent. They uh, were okay with, I guess, moving a spot for me and me sort of staying around camping here too because they're camping for the night. But right now, I just don't want to get out of the AC, like, in this sort of sun. Ah, uh, the moment you step out. Also, I went back to sauna mode just slightly when I was going uphill for a bit. Right now, I came back okay, um, but I reckon it's not as hot as when they're just filled. Um, we did put dye in a few days ago. So you put the dye in from the low side, right away we saw color on the high side. So it might just be the valve that's loose and I just so happen don't have the tool. It's a different size than your tire valve, um, but at least that's potentially the cause. Right now the cap is keeping the pressure, but it doesn't seal completely. So it's slowly seeping out from the cap on the high side. I should probably just tie both sides all together, but right now it's so cold, it's still okay, and I don't want to get out. There's a reason why I, when making these reflectives, make them one side black, another side leaving the reflective. So in winter days, when I put it this way, 
the reflecting inside, it reflects the heat into myself and blocking outside for privacy. Whereas in hot days like this, you reverse them. So I'm just going to pop, pop these little suction cups and then you reflect the sun outward like this. I hope you're having a cooler day by the time of watching this. 40 degree sun, it's no joke. And like I said, all of the videos are backdated. If you want to know real time, Patreon is the place to go. Wherever I have reception, I will update my trips. Depending on your tier, you will know where this is. But please, please, if you know where it is, if you get the access, keep it hush. And keep it to you and your friend. This is our secret, okay? Get onto Patreon and I'll talk to you there. Look how nice this is. Super thankful to the young couple there by the water um, letting me in and setting up right by the water. It's a lot cooler. You probably can still see the sweat just dripping from my chin. Oh, we should probably take a dip. The sun was still stubbornly hot in its evening position. I reckon it's about time to paddle out onto the lake. When it comes to inflating, I've learned a few things. The package usually comes with a hand pump. Just forget it. Originally, I bought an adapter to use air compressor, like how I air up tires. Smart? Nah. It doesn't work. <laughs> Save yourself some hassle and get a floaty pump like this. Air compressor is designed to inflate at a high pressure with low volume, whereas this pump runs at a lower pressure but high volume. Yes, you overland gear doesn't work on everything. You'd be waiting for the ARB twin compressor to fill up your board till sunset. So it seems like this side of the water got a lot more bugs. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. The summer bug kind of sound. Totally exposed under the sun. I might just get some burn after this, but it's totally worth it. It feels so nice. My scrubber wash bag double as a dry bag. for putting my water there, my car key. Um, I put my drone controller there too. I was trying to land it on the paddleboard, but I kept getting pushed to other places by the wave. Yeah, it's a little sketch. So we dropped it back to the car and um, I will keep paddling a bit more till we get back. So I just remember I bought a lot of floaties from Australia and didn't really use it. I think I only used it once and they've always been just in my car. And I thought, why not? Let's put it up and see how it goes. Alright guys, this is going to be really ridiculous, but... <laughs> this is so cold, it's really cold! Oh my god, it's cold! Oh, we're here! <laughs> oh my god! I am so ridiculous, but this is so fun! It's cold! I reckon this is the, the right way to use it. Sit in there like this. <laughs> I feel 
with the kid right now. Hi, I'm a flamingo. I usually live in Beverly Hills Mansion. <laughs> So earlier when uh, I just came into this water side, when the girl let me in, she asked if I happened to have any sort of communication with the outside. Um, I guess probably because they saw my setup, my vehicle. Um, looks like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I hope so. Um, just so happened, yeah, of course, I have my Zolio. So she told me it's her mother's birthday today and there is no reception here. She felt super guilty. So I let her use my phone, uh, the Zolio app connected to Zolio satellite communication. She talked to her mom for several texts, wish her happy birthday. Yeah, having a form of communication out here is not only for um, emergency, also for just normal communication as you would uh, in the cities because at times you do need them. Yeah, it felt super nice to be able to help her um, on this sort of important day that she doesn't miss it and still enjoy her time out here. Car's right there. We're trying to go back. <laughs> oh my God, this is way harder than paddleboarding. What am I thinking? Uh, this is why flamingos live in a pool because no matter where you flow, you're still in the pool. But in this big of a lake, you're gone. Oh my god. Oh, but yeah, the scenery is really nice behind me. So, yeah, I hope you're enjoying that while I struggle back. <laughs> These are just sky ropes for the awning. We can make a long leash. Here I found another advantage of cooking in air fryer. No fire. Less heat generated and I don't have to stay around as if I'm not already warm. When I'm back to the land, the couple that let me into the spot had already retrieved to their tent on the other side of the tiny beach. I don't know if they will ever see this video, but Polina and Giuliano, if you're watching, thank you. I couldn't be more grateful to have spent such an amazing day on this beautiful beach. I haven't had a peaceful summer night like this for so long. I kept thinking of last summer or the summers before. Perhaps I've been gaslighted. I never thought I'd been able to enjoy outdoor times like this without someone to lead me, guide me, take me. <laughs> it's not that difficult after all. Just my flamingo and I enjoying the sun setting below the mountains. Got a satellite message from Tuan. <laughs> He's camping with 20 something people now. Don't know what's happening, but <laughs> sounds like fun. Whole night I kept my window cracked open because it was just so hot. I didn't even put the sleeping bag on. I just have it flipped open and lay on top and still sweating and it. it's so hot. What a nice weather. Made some noodles for breakfast, but it's so hot, it's not cooling off. Same as my coffee, I've been waiting for ages for them to cool off. So the couple that let me in here, they already left just as I got up. Early riser. But yeah, so thankful to them. Leave me this beautiful spot. The truck there has been here overnight. No one was here to attend it. Other than that, I am here alone again. So nice. Honestly, I can stay here for ever if I have the supply and time. I really need to take it easy with these pegs. 
These are already the thicker ones and it's still... When it comes to packing up, usually I like to take my time and enjoy the last sight of each camp. But this morning, <laughs> despite the strong unwillingness to leave, I had to finish packing sooner than usual, racing the sun before it gets too hot again. If only you could see the temperature through the screen. Maybe next time I'll cook an egg on the bonnet, then you'll know. It is really roasting hot. It reminds me of Perth. Oh gosh, I miss Perth. How epic is this place? The clear water lakes in the BC mountains are absolutely stunning. I hope you enjoy this episode of Solo Mission in an air-conditioned room. I will definitely be back here sometime. Inner BC has so much to offer. Until then, stay cool, stay a while.